They call themselves the other candy company in Hershey, Groves Brittle Works. Now, Groves is known for its handmade gourmet brittles, which truly are delicious, as are many, many other treats that I tried, like peanut butter eggs. Owner Earl Grove invited me in to do that tasting. Groves Brittle Works is sponsoring this segment. Thank you so much for inviting me in to see what Groves Candies and Hershey's has to offer. I love that you call yourself the other candy company in Hershey. Talk about that. <laughs> Amy, it's my pleasure to have you here. I can't tell you how excited we are to have you in our, our little shop. Well, the other candy company is something that we started when people said, so are you Hershey? Does Hershey own you? And I said, no, we're the other candy company in Hershey. And that has stuck to help people know that we're not owned by Hershey. That's terrific. Give me some history because there's a lot of history here. How did this begin? Well, it, I'll give you the nutshell version of it. My grandmother uh, worked in the late 1800s, and uh, in that day there weren't labor laws, and she had to take a job, and she started to work at a candy company, and well, long story short, he gave her a recipe so that she could earn money to go to school because she wanted to be a school teacher. So she did, and uh, eventually she had children, one of which was my mother, and my mother was dating my father at the time, and he loved the candy, which happened to be the gourmet peanut brittle that's ultra, ultra thin, which were the only ones that make it like this. Dad asked my grandmother, could I have the recipe? And he said, uh, she said, no, the only way you can have it is if it stays in the family. And he leans over to my mom and says, will you marry me? <laughs> and so wonderful. that's how it stayed in the family. Years later, Earl's dad and mom made the old fashioned brittle for a post-war church fundraiser before opening up their own shop. And what they were doing was raising enough money to send two heifers over to Germany so then people would have milk and food to supply themselves for another day, week, or month. Amazing. And that's how they started. And then they said, well, people love it so much. Why don't you then create the shop so other people can have it and not just for a fundraiser? So this really did all start with the brittle. So tell me more about the brittle and how it's so unique. So when my grandmother was working for the German candy man uh, when she was eight, she realized that this brittle was so thin that the brittle that she had had locally, she couldn't eat. It was hard. And her mother, who was then in the mid-1800s, it would break her teeth. So she thought this was different. Okay, so then when we made it, the thing that brought uh, our, our success is that it's thinner than a potato chip. And it has peanuts in, or cashews, or pecans, or macadamia nuts, or, you know, we have over 20 different varieties that we use throughout the year in a rotating schedule. But of course, as we can see, you're, you're not just brittle. You have everything <laughs> here. So they just made peanut brittle. And when I was born, many years later, <laughs> I decided, let's add something else, like chocolate to it. Let's do chocolate. Well, Dad goes, why would we want to have chocolate? What we do is peanut brittle. Well, through a lot of coaxing, we started with some chocolate products, chocolate pretzels. And then people liked that, and I said, let's do this, and let's do that, and let's do this. And so downstairs, the whole length of our building is our where we have all of our chocolate equipment and where we make our different covered candies in chocolate. And that's how we got to where we are today. I mean, this was a house. Oh, the, this particular room was our living room, and that was the fireplace that we would cook hot dogs on. And that room was our dining room. So growing up, this was the house that we lived in. Oh my gosh, incredible. And there's so many varieties of candy in every nook and cranny of this store. We try and of to course, fill it up. Easter time, so yes. a lot of special items right now. Now it's time for bunnies and chocolate crosses and chocolate pretzels and chocolate covered coffee beans. It's time for chocolate, 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 chocolate. Earl's mom, Mildred, showed us more tastes of the season. Here we have all kind of Easter things and you can see different sizes and bunnies. There's everything on this and table. And even colored bunnies. We have the peanut butter eggs here and we have the butter cream eggs. So many folks um, have come in the store while I've been here and just their eyes light up. Is that the experience oh, yeah. that you have like every day? Candy is a fun thing. You can't be sad in a candy store. The color, <laughs> the smells, the taste, it's just happy. Thank you so much for inviting oh, us welcome. here. It's been thank wonderful to shop around. Thank you. It's our privilege to have you here. Groves Brittle Works is at 1424 East Chocolate Avenue in Hershey. Earl and the team are ready to help you. There's also online ordering available at grovesbrittleworks.com.